Hello, and a good day to you. In this video, let's have a look at how to share files and folders over our network. In this, we're using server 2016. It also applies to server 2012 as well, as we're using server manager. Okay, basically, what we have, we already have done something in advance. We've created the shared folders, okay? And let's just go here. So it's C drive, shares, data files, and we've created two files, okay? And there's a reason why we've called one invisible, one visible. The visible one, okay, is having certain permissions set up, okay? Basically, systems allowed, administrator is allowed, okay? And a user called Windows Ninja is also allowed on here, okay? The invisible folder is a little bit different, and I'm sure you're guessing what's happening. Basically, system and administrator is there, but not Windows Ninja. Okay, now all we need to do is basically share out the top level container for this. In this instance, we're calling it data files. Okay, it could be anything. So we go to server manager. How do we do that in 2016? It's changed a little bit. Click there. Server manager opens it up. 2012 had it pinned over here or it would be a start. Okay. Okay. Once we get here, we get to the main dashboard of that. Go to file and storage, shares. And then you can click there if there's nothing set up. Otherwise, it's in tasks, new share. Okay. We can do an SMB share quick in this instance. Okay, very simple. Okay, because we're not creating a new shared system. Okay, what basically this does, it creates a folder on C called shares, etc. Okay, we've already done that, so we're just going to give it a custom path. Where do we want to go? C, it was in shares, it was called data files, select folder, and click next. Okay, you can rename that. Okay. Remove the space, put an underscore, whatever, you know. Um, give a description, click next, enable access base enumeration. Basically, this is the little thing that you need to tick. By ticking this, what is visible and what is invisible, basically, for those users that don't have read access to a file or a folder, they'll not be able to even see it listed in that folder. Okay, so that's the key thing we're trying to do. Um, caching of share, it depends on how your system is. If you want basically users to be able to have a local copy of the work, for example, they go offline, they can then work on it, and then when they log back on, it syncs up, that kind of concept. Okay, encrypted data access, definitely worth ticking um, in today's environment. However, for this simple experiment, we're just, well, not experiment, um, tutorial, we're just going to leave it with, the first one okay okay and it's giving in our three basic users administrators owner windows ninja which is basically the inherited permissions for the higher folder which in that case was shares i think it was okay next okay create you could have modified them over there previously that's not a problem create okay once that's done okay you can now see it's there. If you want to modify the properties of it, you know, you can go to permissions, change who has access to it, who doesn't have access to the main folder. You want to change things over here, you can do. You can go over here and use management properties, okay, depending on what you want to change over there. Okay, very simple. That's happy. Now we'll go to the client computer and have a look at how it appears on their screen. Okay, here is our client computer. Basically, we have set up on our server where we have the share, basically network discovery. So, basically, click on network, automatically it finds it, okay, finds the data files, click in there. As you can see, it's working as we wanted it to work. And it's basically because permissions were given to one folder and permissions were not given on another folder. 
okay providing you have that everything should work well sometimes with caching you can have folders that were previously granted but then permissions removed being visible for a while maybe a reboot etc and that it kind of like works itself out okay hopefully this has helped um thank you for watching